What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today's the day your boy is finally buying his first truck. Now I know that might seem kind of random and to be honest, I wasn't in the market for a truck, but this thing is literally the perfect truck for me and I couldn't pass it up. So one of my close homies at the beginning of this year told me that he was looking at getting a new truck and thinking of letting go of his old one. So I knew I had to get this thing because if it wasn't for this truck, I probably wouldn't be getting one for another couple of years. And I never thought I would need a truck, but at this point in my life, I think having a truck will be really convenient, especially with, you know, building this car and then going to the track constantly. Um, it's gonna be nice to have a truck. And yeah, I'm super excited. It's, it's like the perfect truck for me. It checks all the boxes. So we're gonna head over to my homie's place right now and pick this thing up. I'll show you guys all about it. Super stoked, let's go over there. All right, so we're about to pull in right now. And I've seen this truck for the last couple of years, but this is gonna be my first time seeing it as our truck. It's actually gonna be our truck today. Okay, I see it right now. <laughs> and he just got it fully detailed, so this thing is probably as clean as it's ever been. He took really good care of this thing, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna show you guys once we park and go say what's up. Dang, that's sick. All right, we're outside. Alex isn't here yet. I beat him to the spot, but I'm just gonna show you guys now. All right, here is my new truck. Whoa, look at this thing. It literally checks all the boxes. First of all, the color, you already know. If you know, you know. Look at this thing, oh my gosh. I can't believe that's ours. So uh, once Alex gets here, he'll tell us a little more about the truck. He has a list of all the mods and everything he's done to it, so I, I'll have him just run down the list and kind of explain everything. But dang, this thing is so sick. I'm so excited. Boss man is here in his new truck. Oh my gosh, that thing is so sick. Hey, that's a good upgrade, huh? From this to that, can't complain. That's a great upgrade. Like, how is this even like real truck interior? It's got like the, the design of, what is it? Denali? Is it yeah, Mount, Mount Denali. Denali. Mount Denali on the seats. Got it on the dash. It's insane how these new trucks come with such nice interiors. Yeah, down below they have the coordinates for Oh wow, that's Denali. sick. Look at that. Bro, I don't know how this is a work truck. I, I would never be able to treat this thing like a work truck. I it's don't know. It's too clean, it's too nice. I already have plywood and sheetrock in the back, bro. <laughs> this the guy's breaking it in just right. Brand new truck, already putting it to work. Hey, that's, that's what it's made for, right? Yeah. So clean. sick, I love this interior. Yeah, this thing literally has massaging seats. Got work trucks with massaging seats. How are you supposed to work with massaging seats? Dude, it's after a long How day. How does that make sense? That makes no after sense. After a long day, you turn on the heated seats and the massager, it's therapeutic. <laughs> that makes no sense, bro. If I was working construction with a truck like this, I would not be working. Yeah, so originally you were gonna get another white one, right? I wanted to get another white one. I wanted one. to order this thing in white, but honestly, I think this was the right move. This is such a nice color. It's such a classy what color. What is it? Is it like silver it's, or It's uh, sterling silver metallic. Sterling silver. Bro, someday, someday. I'm gonna buy this truck from you whenever you're ready to let it go. Like, give it two years, bro. Two years? No, two I, need, years. I need like 10, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I need 10 years for a truck like this. Oh. I think it's like unlocked. Oh my gosh. Like, on a truck, bro. It's crazy what they do to these new trucks. Sheesh, must be nice. That's okay, that's okay. We'll get, we'll get there someday. I'm happy with, with that thing right there. All right, we're gonna hop in the driver's seat real quick, just, you know, just to feel it out. Bruh, bruh, this is the nicest truck you can buy. Like there's no better truck out there right now. Congrats, bro, I'm so happy for you. This thing is so good. It's got coordinates everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you better take this thing to Mount Denali, bro. You ain't gonna- I know. You know how to get there. You better take it there. Just punch it in. Okay, let's go check out my truck now, yeah? We can call, we can call it my truck now. Let me get your keys and we'll be right out. Okay, okay, sounds good. All right, so what's the rundown? It's a 2016, what do we got here? A 2016 Chevrolet Silverado. Chevrolet Sil Silverado, 2500. Do you say the HD or no? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really HD. All right, what we have here is a 2016 Chevrolet Silverado 25 HD LTZ Z71 Duramax. Yep. Is that it? Did I get everything? That's, that's exactly it. So it's got a zone five inch lift with uh, upgraded Fox shocks. Okay. Um, 
It's got traction bars in the back, Cognito. Okay. Um, we could talk about the wheel and tire setup. It's a Hostel Sprocket 22 by 12 with a negative 44 offset. Your boy went from running uh, 18 by 10 and a half to running 22 by what? 22 by 12. Negative offset. Your yep. boy's finally running negative offset wheels. And then we got some 13 and a halfs. 13 and a halfs, bro. Those Whatever are thick that boys. means. I don't well, know. that's. I don't know anything about truck tires, that, that's but. That's this way. Okay, okay. 37 is from top to bottom. We're running yep. 37s. This is pretty much like the most aggressive setup you can get with it still being like comfortable, right? To yeah. daily or whatever. If you go anything bigger, you got to do so much more to the truck, right? Yeah, and then it ends up looking. I mean, the look is not for everyone. Yeah. I like the way it looks. I love I guess, the like, stance. OEM, I love the stance. OEM plus. The way he built this truck is exactly how I would do it, and that's the reason. It's now mine. I don't know, just you, you did really good with it. I like all the mods you did to it. The wheel setup, the colors, the bumpers. So when he originally got it, the bumpers, the front and rear bumper are obviously um, chrome, right? Chrome, they were chrome, so. So he got white bumpers. Airbags. Oh, airbags. We got bags in the rear. And then uh, there's trailering. a compressor system for pumping up your tires. My or... God, look at this. When we go to the track, we got a compressor for yep. tires. How clutch is that? Dude, this is what I mean when I say this is the perfect truck for me. It's literally got everything I need. I mean, bags, I don't trailer yet. I don't have a trailer, but maybe someday we'll have I a trailer. I think we're coming, that's coming soon, Coming Alex. soon, coming soon. But yeah, once we get a trailer and I start trailering my car to the track, this thing already has bags in the rear, so it makes trailering things so much better. As for the front end, we got the chrome delete on the headlights, chrome delete on the bumper. That's pretty much it for the front end, right? Oh. Okay, are those stock headlights or no? Uh, no, so those are actually a company out of Bellingham, Washington. I see. They're uh, VLEDs. Okay, so usually these trucks come with like the white Yeah, halogen, the regular right? halogens. Super ugly, so he already did what I usually do and put LEDs in all my cars. This thing's got LEDs all around. The reverse lights have LEDs, headlights are LED. LED fog, are yeah, fog lights fog are lights. LEDs. Where can I get that? I'm telling you guys, this is the perfect truck. Like he's done, Everything that I would do if I were to get a truck. The other thing on the exterior, side steps. That's not stock, right? You got those installed? Oh yeah, that's right. So he got the steps installed. This is gonna be our new family car. I'm trying to get rid of the Lexus ASAP. So this is gonna be our new daily for now. So it's gonna make it really easy for the wife and the baby to get in the back. He just got this thing fully detailed today. So it literally smells like a brand new car in here. You didn't have to do that, bro. You're too nice. You're too nice. Brother. <laughs> this is this is what I like. I don't Dude, know. Dude, I am is, I am like this. I love that. I love buying from people like you. This Thank is you. the type of guy you want to buy something like this from. But yeah, it's an LTZ, so it's got black leather interior. We got Bose sound system, and then we're not faking it. We've got four wheel drive. Four wheel drive, baby. So the Lexus is all wheel drive. Once I get rid of the Lexus, I still want it to have something that I can like potentially take to the mountains. Once it snows at the house, I still want to be able to drive around. So. This checks the boxes for that. Another thing about the exterior, this is a six and a half foot bed. I didn't really want an eight foot bed because it's just so much easier to get around in a truck like this. Plus the wife's gonna be driving it here and there and it just makes parking and getting around just way easier, right? Yeah. The reason he got a bigger bed is because he needs it. I don't do construction or really use a bed. You don't do construction either, but you use your bed a lot. I use my bed a lot. I don't, so this is the perfect bed for me. Well. Thank you, sir. All right, first startup, first startup. Let's do this. Dude, I can't believe this is actually happening. Like, for real, this is crazy. Sheesh. <laughs> I love that sound. Dude, this is never gonna get old. It is a diesel, if you guys couldn't tell yet. It's got a little fun switch over here. Yes, sir, it does. This thing has a, what is it called, five? A DSP five switch. It has a five switch, so. If anyone's trying to line up, your boy could just hit the dial and get an extra, what? 200. 200 horsepower. We literally just turned this dial a few clicks and we got an extra 200 horsepower. So another mod that he had that we forgot to mention, these beefy boys. That's these guys. Look at these beefy tie rods. So the factory tie rods are apparently like super dinky and these beefy ones are made for, is it just launching or what else, what else are they for? Well, when you have bigger tires, the stock, the stock tie rods are probably the size of your pinky. <laughs> so you All definitely right. don't want to be I see. having your wheels fold in. Gotcha, gotcha. So we got beefy tie rods. So this thing is capable of doing all-wheel drive launches. 
So I've never had a bagged vehicle, but the bags that are in the rear are airlift. So we're finally on that train. We have a car with airlift. So factory setting is five PSI. Mm -hmm. Yo. How sick is that? We're gonna go back to preset one. Yo, airing out. It's not a huge yeah, difference. It's probably really hard to see on camera, but this thing literally just aired out on me. The lift pump is right here. Like right, right under here. Okay, and what is the lift pump for? So that is actually uh, fil extra filtration for the fuel. Okay, that's just so, like a safety thing, like a precaution. Yeah, thing? it's a safety thing, and okay. it's it's uh, additional pressure so that the uh, the stock CP4. Um, if any of you guys know probably, much about Duramaxes, <laughs> probably not. My audience is just—I don't even know—just a bunch of drift cars or whatever. I don't understand anything he's saying, but we'll learn, we'll learn. Yeah, this is, lift <laughs> pump is good pump. It's good pump, it's better <laughs> pump. So, and it's got two filters instead of one. Okay. You know, two is better than one, always. I'm telling you, my boy built this thing right. He literally did all the mods that you need to do. He built this thing for himself. You've had it for how long? Five years? Yeah, I'm about five, five years. Five so. years. I've put 50,000 miles on it. He problem put 50,000 on it himself. And he got this thing stock. It was completely stock when he had it. So. so it also has some performance mods that we're not going to talk about, but it does have a nice intake. Sounds nice, yeah? You can hear the intake when you're accelerating or no? Yeah, the intake really like pulls itself through the exhaust. I okay. don't know what it is, but it does a good job with it. Dude, I'm so excited. This is literally the best truck for me. There's no better truck out there for me to buy. Like, this is literally it. If it wasn't for this truck, I don't even want a truck. Like, honestly, if I wasn't to buy this truck today, I wouldn't even want a truck. Like straight up, I would not be looking for another truck. I truly am gonna miss this truck. <laughs> All right, what's left? Just gotta pay you, give you the money and we're good to go, yeah? Well, or what else? What else did we need to cover? Well, we've just got you a little- uh, Oh, that's right. First, first maintenance package. Oh, look at this. He's throwing in so, a first maintenance package. How crazy is that? He gave, he just did maintenance on it. You did the glow plugs, he did oil change, yep. fuel filter. Fuel filter. He just uh, did all the maintenance to it and then he's throwing everything else in for me to do the next maintenance whenever it's due. So nice of you, bro. You do not have to do that. I don't Like, know. why are you so nice, bro? All right, I had one question for you. Is this included in the sale? Well, it's on there for a reason. Are you serious? It's on there for a reason. Dude, I was not expecting this. I thought I was gonna have to buy one. You're no, too sir. nice. No, sir. Bro, why are you so nice to me? That's crazy. You're actually throwing that I don't. In. I don't know. You, you should, don't need this it? Is, no, this is so <laughs> you, you could get a trailer it. right away. No, my, my new truck is going to be... I need yeah, a smaller I don't see, one. I don't see a hitch on there. <laughs> well, this, this has got a 12-inch drop. So. Dude, what? A, yeah, that's sick. So this thing is literally ready to trailer. We have a track day tomorrow. The problem is I don't have a trailer. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe a uh, trailer is maybe sometime next year. We'll see. One last thing. Bro, you're kidding me. For the compressor? For the compressor, baby. Oh my gosh. Dude, this guy threw everything in. That easy. Woo, okay. We got pressure. Sick. Done deal, baby. Title in hand. This is all mine. It's official. Diesel brothers. Diesel boys. <laughs> That's right. Diesel boys. <laughs> All right, so it's been a couple of days now. I've just been driving the truck a ton and really enjoying it. It looks so proper in the driveway, especially right next to the Z. Super stoked on how this thing looks. Um, but the plan for today was to install the parts that I got for this thing. So this right here is a retractable cover that goes into the bed of the truck. And we were gonna get it installed right now, but I realized we can't do that yet because some of these plastics have some wear and tear. And Alex ordered new ones and included it with the sale of the truck. They just haven't came in yet. So we're gonna have to wait on that and get these replaced before we can install the cover. I also got a rubber mat that goes into the bed of the truck. So he also already has one in here, but it is a little worn. So I think I'm just gonna throw the fresh one in here and call it good. But yeah, since we can't install the cover right now, what we're gonna do is just take this thing out 
and uh, try to get some rollers, maybe do some launches. I don't know, you haven't driven this thing yet, I have huh? not driven he it. He hasn't been in it yet, so he's gonna drive it right now. We're gonna go film some rollers. But yeah, that's the plan for today. All right, let's go drive this thing. light finally came on so this is gonna be the first right hook that I'm getting from the truck we're gonna go fill this thing up right now I don't know what to expect I'm expecting around maybe $150 this thing does have an upgraded fuel tank so I think the options with these trucks are either 30 gallons or 35 gallons something like that um, I know this thing has a 35 gallon tank so this is really gonna hurt so diesel is $4.99 right now um, I always thought it was cheaper than premium but I guess over the last year or so, diesel has been more expensive than premium, so I guess that's another L. All right, let's see, let's see how this goes. So we got 40 cents off, but it's still 4.59, so. Did it stop? No, it didn't. I wish it stopped. So originally, I thought this was gonna be my new daily. I don't know how long that's gonna last. Might have to rethink that. Doing this every week is not gonna be fun. <laughs> What did I guess? 148. 148. Pretty close. 40 cents off. If, if it wasn't 40 cents off, how much more would that be? That's what would have cost me. 160. And I wasn't completely empty. So, probably like close to 170 for a tank. That's crazy. What did we get ourselves into? <laughs> what did you get yourself into? Yeah, this is definitely not going to be my daily. I thought it was going to be my new daily. Looks like we're sticking to the Z for a little bit longer. weather over the last couple of weeks and I've been delaying installing this thing but we do have some rain in the forecast so I figured today was the day we're gonna get this thing installed I just finished replacing all these plastics so the entire bed looks pretty fresh I also threw in the new bed mat so originally I was gonna keep this thing because honestly this one is a little better quality but the fact that I already had this one I figured I'd just throw it in and keep it all fresh but my boy Alec came through he's gonna help me install this thing it's honestly not too heavy but it's always nice to have a helping hand so shout out to Alec yeah, of course. appreciate you homie um, but yeah I'm super excited to see how this thing is gonna look in the back of the truck and I'm curious if it's gonna increase my uh, mpgs as well I've heard from some people that it does increase your mpgs so We'll see about that. Anyways, let's get this thing installed and then take this thing out for a spin. All right, so we're officially done installing the cover and here's how it works. So you could have it completely open if you wanna use the bed. And then there's these little handles on the side or a cable in the middle that you could pull on. And then you could lock it halfway if you just want half the bed covered or you could go and close your entire bed just like that it snaps in close your tailgate and you're good to go 
All right, so now that the cover's installed, the plan is to take this thing out for a drive. I'm gonna try to capture some audio and show you guys all the noises this thing makes. It's so much fun to drive and the turbo noises are so good. Um, I also wanna take some photos of this thing. We've been having pretty gloomy weather, so it's perfect for photos. So that's the plan for the rest of the day. I guess let's take this thing out and try to capture some good sounds. All right, so I'm gonna do my best with audio, but honestly not sure how it's gonna turn out. I got the window slightly rolled down just so you guys can maybe hear the turbo a little better. All right, let's see. She's a ripper. This thing is actually way torquier than I was expecting it to be. And it's kind of cold, so I'm gonna put my hood on. I got the windows rolled down for audio. Quickly throw my hood on so I don't get too cold, but um, besides that, it's so much fun to drive. The torque is there. You literally just step on it. You hear the turbo spool. You let off. You hear the little, all the noises it makes. It just sounds so good. This exhaust setup and everything that's done to this truck is just so perfect and I'm super happy with it. Just want to shout out to my boy Alex for giving me this opportunity to own this truck. He never even listed it for sale or anything. He just kind of let me take it off his hands so if it wasn't for him i wouldn't have been in a truck for who knows how long just such a blast to drive uh, i've been driving it for like the last week and a half now haven't even touched my 350z i kind of miss that thing but i'm just enjoying this thing too much so i'm gonna keep driving this thing around until uh i have to fill it up again and then maybe i'll we'll switch back to the z all right audio that sounds so good can't believe I'm that guy now, stepping on it in a truck, just making all the noises. Who would have thought, who would have thought? All right, so I'm just gonna quickly launch this thing just to kind of show you guys the acceleration. I know I don't have the camera on the dash, but this thing launches pretty nice. Jeez, this thing is fun to launch. I haven't done a 4x4 launch yet. I'm kind of nervous. Don't really want to break anything on this thing yet. So we're going to save that for another day. Uh, but yeah, the little switch he has down here, it has five settings and each one adds about 50 horsepower. So I've been dailying it on 100 just because the stock tune is just way too slow. But we'll turn it up real quick. It's currently dry out. So this is the 200 horsepower tune. This thing spins wheel in the dry on the highest setting. We have traction on, I'm just gonna leave it on, but I'm gonna launch it. It'll still probably spin a little bit of wheel. Ripper, zero to 60 in like, I don't know, probably like close to four seconds. I don't know, this thing's pretty quick. It's not bad for a truck. For a heavy truck, this thing launches pretty nice. Just listen to that turbo. Listen, listen, listen. That whistle is just so good. You can call me Whistling Diesel now. Ha, just kidding, just kidding. Don't call me that. This thing does roll a little bit of coal. It's a clean tune, so it doesn't blow a ton of smoke, but there is a certain zone where it will blow a little bit of smoke, so I'm cool with that. As fun as it may seem, I never wanted to be the guy that just blows a bunch of smoke all the time, so clean tune, good tune. All right guys, well that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, leave a like on this video and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the new pickup. And uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. Thanks to everyone that supports my channel. A uh, new car coming to the channel potentially in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.